Hi, my name is Matt Thomas. I'm a senior instructor here at Esri. Today we're going to be looking at repeats in surveys in Survey123 using Survey123 Connect. Now a repeat is a subform. It's a form within a form where a single survey submission can have a question or a block of questions that can be answered more than one time within the same survey. In this sample survey, we have a date question, we have a location question, and then we have our repeat block. The repeat is a block of questions. We can have as many questions as we like in there. It is collapsible. And in this example, we have a single line text question. We also have a single select question. And the person filling out the survey can fill it out a second time and a third time and as many other times as they would like. The result is that we have more than one set of values that correspond with a single location or a single asset. A common use case for repeats is for human population surveys. Let's say that we're opening a new dessert shop in town and we're trying to decide what kinds of desserts we should sell. Who better to ask than members of our community, our, our potential customers? Uh, so we create a survey in Survey123 and we send it out to our neighbors to ask their opinions. We create a simple survey as a draft. We ask for the date, the address of the person filling out the survey. We ask for some information about themselves, their age, their gender. We also ask, what kind of dessert shop is our town missing? And then an open-ended question, any other ideas you might have. Looking at our first draft, we consider that many of the people in our community have other people in their household that will also have some different opinions and different ideas. Instead of having each individual person fill out the survey, we decide to have one survey per household, allowing for additional responses all at once. A repeat will get us there. Let's look at how the survey was built in Survey123 Connect. In Survey123 Connect, we can see a preview of our current survey, and we can also connect to the Excel spreadsheet where the survey was configured. We have a line item for each section of our survey, and our block of interest is the set of questions about, about the person and their opinions about desserts. A repeat acts like a wrapper around one or more questions. So to begin our wrapper, we'll add a new line to our survey, and the type will be begin repeat. And then to end our block of questions, we will choose end repeat. End repeat is finished with that. There's nothing more we need to do to end it. To begin it, however, we need to add just a couple things. We need a name for the field that will be used in the attribute table. We'll call that individual entry. And then we need some kind of label. We'll use a set of instructions telling people how to use the repeat. With that, we'll go ahead and save our form and we'll look at the preview in Survey123 Connect. Looking at the preview, we can see our block of questions are now encapsulated in this repeat section, which is collapsible. We see our directions there at the top. And if we scroll down, we can see that more than one submission can be added. And it looks a little bit different in the web version, in the web browser, and that's okay. Our next step would be to publish this survey to overwrite the original. We see a warning here. This is because the repeat adds an additional field to the attribute table, which is a schema change. If this was already a live survey with data collected, this, uh, this is something that we, we, we would need to account for while publishing. In our case, with our dessert shop survey, we haven't collected any data yet. So we can go ahead and acknowledge the warning and, and go ahead with publishing. Let's go ahead and look at our finished product. In our final survey, uh, the survey taker can go ahead and make sure the date is correct. They can provide their address. And let's say this person is a 38-year-old female who likes cookies. And she has a second member of the household, a six-year-old son who likes ice cream. And she can go ahead and submit the survey on behalf of her family. Let's look at how the data is stored on the back end. We have a hosted feature layer. This was published when we published the survey. And it includes a layer which uh, collects a record for each survey in the, in the survey response. 
And it also has a related table, which collects the data from the repeat specifically. Looking at the data that we just collected, we can see the overall survey value. In this case, we just have a date and an address. When we switch over to the related table, we can see all of the information collected by each individual member of the household. This is the actual information that we're interested in for the survey that will drive our business planning. This is a one-to-many relationship in the data with one household related to many people, many different uh, people with their, with their opinions and perspectives. Uh, the data can be used here in ArcGIS Online, or we can export it out into other applications like ArcGIS Pro in order to run further analysis, create different visualizations, and generate reports, just like we would with any other data that includes related tables. And repeats are pretty simple to set up, and they add a lot to your survey. Give them a try.